What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about coin roll hunting and three reasons why I believe it could be especially beneficial right now. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about coin roll hunting. This is not something that I typically talk about. I've only made maybe two videos, maybe three in the last two and a half years about coin roll hunting and it's not something that I have ever done myself. It's not something that necessarily appealed to me. I was never really drawn to it. I would say the main reason is due to the fact that I prefer pure silver over 90% silver and I was never overly interested in stacking a whole lot of that 90% junk constitutional silver and on top of all that I always considered it to be kind of boring. I guess if you find something, it would be pretty cool, but it's not something that I was ever really interested in, in pursuing. But I've been thinking about it, and I posted a video a couple weeks back, three ways to get your hands on silver with all these online coin shops saying that they're sold out or you know crazy premiums, and I said that coin roll hunting could potentially be an option. Then I was thinking about it today, how coin roll hunting could actually be really beneficial. And I came up with three reasons why. And the first one is you could potentially get some free silver out of it. Just by coin roll hunting, all you have to do is, you know, go to the bank, give them X amount of dollars, and they will give you the same exact X amount of dollars back, but in coins. So a dollar could get you two rolls of pennies. For example, and it's quarters, dimes, nickels, half dollars, whatever you want to do. And if you go through them, there's a good chance that all of them, or at the very least, most of them are not going to be silver. And they're just going to be regular, normal 10 cent dimes, or 25 cent quarters, or 50 cent half dollars. But there's a small percent chance that you're going to stumble upon a silver dime, a silver quarter, a silver half dollar. It's not all that likely, but there are some out there. And if you stumble upon one, that's essentially a free piece of silver. You can just take all the other ones back to the bank and get your paper dollars back for it, if that's what you want to do. And it was essentially free. I mean, not free. I mean, technically, I guess you could say that you paid 10 cents for it if you found a silver dime, or you paid 25 cents for a silver quarter if you found it in there, or 50 cents if you found a half dollar. But if you think about it, we all know that it's worth way more than 10 cents, 25 cents, or 50 cents. A dime, for example, would be worth roughly 1 14th of whatever spot price is at the time. Silver quarter would be roughly one-sixth of whatever spot price is at the time. Half dollar would be roughly one-third of whatever spot price is at the time. So, it's essentially free. I mean, it's not really free if you're paying like 10 cents for it, but you guys get the picture. Reason number two is because, as I mentioned in the video from a couple weeks ago, a lot of online precious metal dealers have been out of stock with a lot of things and all the other stuff that is currently in stock. We've seen crazy high premiums. We see that spot price right now is in the $15 range and premiums are also in the $15 range, at least for Silver Eagles. $30 just to pick up one ounce of three nines fine silver. It's not something I'm personally interested in. So high premiums are a little bit of a deterrent. Being out of stock means you can't get any of that. A lot of coin shops are closed right now. They are not considered to be essential, but for some strange reason, fast food restaurants and liquor stores are considered essential. Don't ask me why. I don't understand. But a place where you can convert your currency into money or your money into currency, 
is not essential? Okay, if you say so. But we have been somewhat limited to ways to get silver. Money's tight for a lot of people right now too, so not a whole lot of people are going and converting their dollars into silver. A lot of people understand that it's probably the safest idea to hang on to as much cash as you can, just because if there's an emergency, blah, 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 and hopefully the dust will settle, hopefully this will all be cleared up sooner rather than later, and then afterwards you'll actually have more cash than you probably normally have because you've been holding on to it, and then you can go and convert those dollars into an even larger amount of silver or gold if that's what you want to do. So reason number two is that we're limited right now, and banks are still technically open, and if you have the ability to go and trade a couple of your dollars for the same exact dollar amount worth of coins, at face value at least, you can go through them, see if you find any silver, and then take all the ones that are not silver back to the bank. Get your dollars back. And now, finally, number three. And this is arguably the most important of all of the reasons that I have explained so far. Reason number three. Three, why coin roll hunting could be most beneficial, especially right now at this very specific point in time, is because it gives you something to do. Most people are out of work right now. Most people are not spending 40, 50, 60 hours a week on the job like they normally would be. They're spending those extra 40, 50, 60 hours at home most likely people are bored people have nothing to do people are going stir crazy people are getting frustrated people are getting all types of crazy right now and i think as i've said many times during my live streams which by the way i will be more than likely live streaming tonight around 9 p.m eastern standard time make sure your bell notifications are turned on so you do not miss it but as i've been saying almost every night for the last two and a half weeks now I think right now should be the time for people who are not currently working to be capitalizing on this little bit of extra time that they have and developing skills, pursuing hobbies, getting the exercise, and doing all the things that they've been making excuses not doing these last couple of weeks, months, years, or decades. Oh, I'm too tired from work. Oh, I can't do it. I'm, I'm working, blah, 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 blah. Now's the time where you can actually focus on a hobby such as coin roll hunting it gives you something to do it gives you a little bit of mental stimulation you stand a small chance at finding a little bit of silver and it'll help you not go stir crazy i know things are crazy right now things are wild right now planet earth is basically on a standstill right now people don't know what to do they have too much time on their hands and I believe right now, I don't like to focus on the negatives. I like to try to be as constructive as I can. And I like to make the best out of a crappy situation. And what we're going through right now, this is a crappy situation. But why not try your best to make the most of it, make the best of it, and do something at least productive in some way, shape, or form. And by coin roll hunting, if you have the opportunity to help pass some time, help find some actual money in your currency, gives you something to do, and it's a just a different way of stacking. Who knows? You might even enjoy it. This is actually something that I'm probably going to give a try myself, and if you guys are interested, I'd be more than happy to make an actual video of me going through all the rolls of coins rather than just an image with me talking it would be an actual video of me going through each and every coin. If that's something that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to consider making a coin roll hunting video. Let me know. Also, let me know if you coin roll hunt yourself. Is this something that you do? Do you have a lot of luck when it comes to silver quarters, dimes, or half dollars? Which are the ones that you find the most silver in? Is it about, you know even you find like an equal amount of coins from each different category let me know in the comments anything and everything related to coin roll hunting if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to subscribe new videos every single day 
365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description, trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you wanna help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, and many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, number one, would you like to see a coin roll hunting video? And two, do you coin roll hunt? Where do you find the most success in terms of discovering silver, quarters, dimes, or half dollars? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.